Good morning everybody, thank you for visiting my channel, this is RandomX and what I got here for you guys today is a couple of mowers, the uh, Skag 36 Advantage and also the Great Dane 36 Hydro mower, it's kind of an old, I think it was made in the late 90s and they're, they're no longer available and they don't make them anymore so what I have here is just uh, since I have both mowers, just wanted to kind of go through a, uh, a little in depth on each mower, and just to just make a little comparison of uh, what the advantages the one has over the other, and overall what what I like the most from both mowers. I'm gonna start with the 36, which has the uh, flat free uh, front wheels. And it has the Advantage Deck Heavy Duty Commercial. And uh, it also comes with a Kawasaki Powered Boy by the Kawasaki FS481B 14.5 horsepower. And uh, I, I have to say, I, I really love this engine. And uh, the wheels uh, are in really good shape. You can see they are brand new, just uh, they've just been uh, not used for a little while it's there they've been in the garage pretty much so since we're starting on the uh, springtime just wanna get this mowers out and get them ready I have the that's the throttle that will be the uh, neutral slow fast and also the tank it's pretty beefy like uh, it has with the uh, fuel gauge and the cap and you can see from behind the uh, mower, that's how it looks like. It has the uh, 14 horsepower, like I said, and here the control panel, the uh, on and off power switch or key. And we have the, uh, also here we have the PTO switch for to engage the blades, which is this yellow uh, thing right here in the control panel and the uh, more right now it has 17.6 uh, hours which you guys can tell it's not being used a lot and uh, I have this little adapter in the back I also show the uh, hydraulic fuel tank hydraulic tank I mean uh, it's plastic not like the previous previous ones i have showed you guys uh, which was metal and the brand new um, hydro pumps and you can just uh, release the pressure if you just want to drag them around without turning them on just to release the pressure of each and you just have to screw uh, unscrew that little um, release nut and it, the hydros are free so you can move it around i i've used it a couple times but I'd rather just turn it on and it's easier to move around. It's quite heavy. All in all, it's a really nice mower. I'll start it off for you guys so you can hear how it sounds. So, you must make sure the brake is on, that it in neutral, and the uh, gas little valves right here so you make sure it's on and then you Thing. It look, it's all beat up, but I got it at a good deal. Okay, so let's talk about this mower. The great thing it has uh, this control levers forward and backwards, and I really like how compact it is. Really makes a whole lot of a difference, and it's so much easier to maneuver. And it, here's the on and off switch, the PTO, and the throttle. 
and down here I have uh, the two the hydro tank metal and the two hydros for each wheel the left and the right they've been responding pretty good so far so and I have this uh, mod flap I think mod flap I think somebody's installed and which is really good it, it just pretty much uh, like a protection sometimes when the mower is cutting if anything shoots out it won't hit you and uh, or hit your legs or feet or whatever so it's really good I like it I'm gonna keep it like that for now and here's the look from of the hydro tank and the fuel tank in the front as you guys can tell uh, right here we have the hydro filter on the front of, of the machine and I have also this uh, exhaust that I really have to get working on I it hasn't given me any problems it rattles every now and then but I like is what I like about this one is I, I could always replace it with a different one I just have to find the right size but I looked around if they have anything on that model they don't make it any longer and maybe you can just find the used one but for now I think I'll just keep it that way until I replace it with a different engine or I do something else to it the deck looks pretty beat up, beat up. Uh, you guys can tell it's I haven't done nothing to it it's just how I bought it a while back and I'm gonna paint it and I should have a different video of it and uh, how it looks uh, once it's finished painting the skag if you guys can tell the left and the right of the decks look similar wider on the left and the shoot on the right and the great thing has the uh, bigger wider wheels which the uh, flat free are thinner on the uh, 36 skag but in, com in comparison both of them are pretty similar uh, quality not a complaint from either one of them they cut and stripe really nice but one thing I, I, I another thing I don't like about the skag is uh, I just put it in a straight line just kind of so you guys can tell the difference in the front we, we have the same line uh, I parked them next to each other but if you see from the back you can tell how how longer the one of the mowers is and that's one of the downsides when it comes to you know um, just being more uh, easy to maneuver if you can tell right away this the uh, great thing is a lot shorter and more compact than the skag the skag has at least a foot or or, or a foot and a half longer to the back which when you turn uh, sharp corners it's really tough uh, you got to be really careful and since I'm getting used to this uh, skag mower it's really uh, it's even longer than the older ones even the the older skags are not that long but this newer one uh, for some reason is a lot longer when you can see this the great thing it has the uh, uh, levers so much closer to uh, the deck but on this skag right here they go far far back than any other skag the older types and uh, when I did a sharp turn you can see I I scratched the uh, that little handle right there which was kind of scary I really <laughs> I wasn't expecting that to be the case but since I'm getting used to the machine it's been quite a learning experience and I also need to work on the response the hydro response which is this thing right here you turn it to the left too fast to, to the right to slow it down so I'm gonna slow it down quite a bit it's pretty I'm not used to it being so sharp uh, or so fast on the turn so I have, uh, like I said, the 14 horsepower Kawasaki for FS481V, which is one of the newer engines, and uh, you guys heard it. The sound is pretty amazing compared to the older Kawasaki, but also this older one. Uh, I'll I'll start it off for you guys in a little bit so you can hear uh, the sound of it. It's first like a little cat, so even though it's old and has been used for for I mean a lot it's it still has the uh a lot of life into it left into it so and uh, my favorite feature of this great thing is this uh brake for the tires which uh, for safety reasons when you transport it in a trailer or you just 
are up on the hill and you want to leave the uh, mower standing without going anywhere that's a really you know good good way to go and i love this uh feature from this mower that this cag doesn't have it it has the uh, handle brake which is pretty much uh works in a, in a different way but it doesn't do as good as the great thing in stopping the mower and i had several times but this uh more comes with a Kawasaki FC420V which is a really popular engine and I have more videos about just uh, fixing them and cleaning them up and this is the original that came with this mower and I'm gonna upgrade the engine pretty soon and I'll have videos for you guys to go and check out and also the painting and the, uh, just making this great thing look a lot newer and in better shape it's if seen is better day so I would like to see it back to being usable. You see how it works like a little kitten? And it's like a 20 plus year old engine. And I think Great Dane really made a great mistake not continuing with their mowers because I, as I can see they're solid, you know, there's like, the steel on it is like so thick, you see that? And the deck is like really strong steel and it's still working. I just work perfect. I'm using one hand guys so that's why but hopefully you guys uh, enjoy the video I try to be as much informative as I can I'm new to this so it's my first video for YouTube but I did it because some of you guys uh, might not have a budget to get something like that but if you find something like this which is really comparable and similar in deck size, engine, hydraulics, and it's all beat up but it's in working condition, go for it because you cannot always afford a, a new one. Like I just showed to you, an older model was actually more comfortable. I'm not saying it's better, I'm just saying more comfortable and if it offers, offers more safety features like the brake pedal like I show you guys, I'll say go for it because at the end of the day so this is it for this video thank you for everyone joining and watching this video of the comparison between the Skag 36 Hydro and the Great Dane 36 Hydro hope you guys uh, enjoyed it learned something and if you are looking for more it gave you quite a bit of information that you might need and just want to invite you guys to please subscribe and help my channel when you subscribe is uh, at no cost to you you just become a, a subscriber on my channel and i'll it will we too will let you know when i have new content or new videos or any announcements that i have in my channel so pretty much it keeps you updated that's everything it's at no cost to you and if you give it a like to my videos uh 
what YouTube does with those likes is it recommends my videos to other viewers that may be looking or interested in, in this content so it really have, helps my channel greatly to kind of go forward and uh, I you know it just uh, it takes a lot of time to uh, do these videos and get this uh, material together for you guys so if you give it a like it just helps a lot to encourage any new youtubers like myself to just keep doing more videos like this and thank you one more time and we'll see you guys on the next one